we might as well just uh, start there. Okay, so I I got my bird image working. Hey, Flash. Um, I'm only going to be live for about like uh, 30 minutes <laughs> at this point. But I wanted to at least stream a, a little bit. Oh my gosh. I just remember that I turned my volume all the way down. Okay, where was I? I was in the middle of the desert? I know that much. But this is the one part about um, Earthbound that I am almost completely blind on, and that is everything going on in the desert. <laughs> A zip gun. Okay, so it's just a strict upgrade. Got it. I want to sell the old... I'll buy that junk. Okay. Is it? Oh my gosh. Here, let me just update it twice. Welcome. Our paradise exists beneath that pole. Talarama is great and kind. He knows everything Talarama does. He made us the underground rooms. Huh. Talarama is now fasting and practicing silent meditation. He's also abstaining from anything that would make him sick or smelly too. Oh right, I could do that. Please do not bother him. Okay. So that's going to be for later. Preston Book. Oh, I don't like that. Felt dizzy and weak. Uh, uh, I forget which one of them it is. Uh. 
my favorite normal enemy thing, by the way. Yeah? Okay, what is this? Oh, just instantly died. Oh! 10,000 XP, what? Oh, I thought you put 10,000 money and I was like, what? Uh, defense down. Interesting. Okay. So I... Wait, no. I have to, uh... Okay, Healing Alpha is the one that cures Sunstroke. So the idea is that these wet towels can instantly cure it, but we could use our Psychic Energy to do that instead. Do this and then spy on the spear. Let's see what's up with that. Oh! You know, I was actually. Open the hypnosis, okay. Vulnerable to fire. You know, I was actually just uh, talking to someone about the fact that, like, I constantly forget that my birthday is, is coming up. It, it's weird, like, I constantly forget that it's coming up, and then it just happens. Oh! Okay, Smiling Spheres, they blow up. Got it. Good to know. Double burger inside. Why would you feel like talking to a tiny black sesame like me? I want to apologize to the white sesame that I hurt before. If I could just see her. Yeah, I, I distinctly remember something about this, uh, this little black pixel that's right there. And if you're playing on a CRT, it's, like, almost impossible to see it. But if you want my, like, real answer... I... 
have no real vulnerable to fire and paralysis. Okay. Wait, how can it tear into me if it missed? Another double burger. Oh. Alan spotted something shiny. It was a set of contact lenses. Odin got the contact lenses. Okay. So our inventory is full. This isn't going to be good. Okay. I tried. Fresh egg. We we just put into our dead friends like inventory. Uh goods. Might as well use the extra cup of life noodles that we just got. Back here. Oh, hello. That was great. Good hole. Good hole. Good hole. First, uh, someone asked me to dig for buried gold. Again, to feel like I was obliged to find it. Man, I am starving. Do you have any food you can spare? This seems to have, a, like, a lot of stuff. What are you going to give me? Uh, here's this random double burger I found. Thank you. If I find the gold, I'll give it to you. It's a small house, but please stay the night. Oh my gosh. I just healed myself the full when I could... Deposited.
Oh my gosh. I just realized I should have probably done that. I'll probably do that, um, as I'm getting ready for work. Ick. <laughs> what? Big bottle rack inside. Uh, goods. Gonna move the fresh egg. The Alan's inventory. Gonna move the bottle rocket. To Odin's inventory. I was actually kind of worried that the, uh... What? Thunder? Why would a scorpion know thunder? Never heard of this item before. It can be sold for a very high price. None happens to use it. A good explanation is kind of tough. <laughs> Fine. Okay. I see. I see. Don't. Okay. Okay. Wife up on on that. Oh, thank goodness. That wouldn't have killed anyone if it actually hit though. Boiled egg. Gained 10,000 experience each. Okay. So I guess these things are kind of like, um, metal slimes from, from, uh, Dragon Quest. Or it's like the second we see them, if we, uh, if we defeat them, then we get a bunch of stuff for it. Oh, we're back at the hole. Okay, we did a whole circuit, but we didn't really find anything of value. I'll give you a thousand for it, not a penny more. 
one second. This is... Again, I don't normally... Like, when I am... Like, trying to do things... Okay, meteor, um, ornium. Uh, it only uses to be sold for a thousand. It can be dropped by crocodiles, smiling spheres, and spinning robots. Interesting. So I actually got an incredibly rare item that all it does is just get sold. So it wasn't, it wasn't lying to me. <laughs> Okay. I, yeah, I think we, um, upgraded all of our stuff before we even, like, left for the, left for the desert, so, that's cool. Uh, balance of 12,000. Oh, no, I didn't want to withdraw. Deposit. One deposit. One, three, five. So it's an even thousand. Uh. Okay, so my only idea as of right now for like what we should do is that is that we met that uh, black pixel that wants to meet the white pixel and that's about it. It's a pile of bleached bones. I, I can't talk. Okay, sure. Sure, dude. Um... Ooh, Monkey Oasis. 
As sea monkeys live in the sea, desert monkeys live in the desert. I mean, desert, not dessert. I'm happy that there are animals in the desert, aren't you? Another skip sandwich. Knowing kids, what a group of brats. Scramble little monsters. We sleep in the desert, so we're often mistaken for corpses. But a corpse doesn't usually wear a bathing suit, right? Hey, stop staring at my tan lines. Go away. Okay, so we found the, uh... Black sesame again. Since I have a chronic need to tell uh, to tell y'all what uh, what I'm currently eating, uh, oh my gosh! Of course, you got sunstroke as we were just standing here. Um. Uh, I was at the store because I wanted to get something, I wanted to get like a snack or something, and I found these hot chocolate flavored Oreos, and I'm like, oh, what is this? And then I realized what it was. It was uh, a single stuff of, uh, of vanilla on top of a double stuffed of, uh, Of chocolate, I'm like, hmm. You win this round. What? Oh my gosh, I forgot that it only heals six. Um. A uh, boiled egg as well. There we go. We are just zooming. Oh. Status. She was poisoned. Okay. The game was really considering giving it to me. Okay, became tame, so I only have to worry about- Ooh! Nearly missed. Uh... Goods... What? How dare you? How 
dare you. Well, everything slowed down because of that. Now, I don't normally do this. But that is so annoying. I guess I'm gonna just have to wait until we're out of battle to heal up then. <sighs> That's so rude. Didn't even hit anyone because it was. Mm hmm. So this is the second oasis. And it's right above the excavator. Hmm. Guess they really haven't started working on it yet. Found con oh, Psy Carmel. Um, that's neat. Okay, so we found I'm gonna guess that the white pixel is gonna be somewhere on the darker colored sand. Sun guts pill. Oh my gosh. We made it. Oh. I'm Big Brother Poncho. I'm Kid Brother Pincho. I'm Thomas Jefferson. Hello. I'm a broken slot machine, but the Sanchez brothers and their friend are a very cheerful trio. They will make you happy. Would you like to insert a buck? You knew what you did. A thousand dollars. That's nice. Are you, are you telling me while I was running around and, like, defeating all those monsters, the traffic jam cleared without me? Eh.
Now we're back on the uh, Diddy Kong Racing Bus. Okay, there we go. But uh, no, didn't want to take a picture. Okay, here we are at four side. Goods, town map, used. Okay, so, uh, we have the hotel, we have a food center up there, we have the hospital up there, and then we have the department store. All of those are uh, pretty normal items of interest. City of Foresight has developed quite a bit since Mr. Geldgar, um, no. Nah. Geldegard Montatoli hit it big time. It's been good for the city. Hotel. Never gave me a tip. Well, never mind that. Uh, let's see. Nine, six, nine. We have exactly a thousand sitting in our pocket. Good morning. This is a unique service exclusive to our hotel only. I'm here to read you today's headline. On the front page of the Foresight post, over 70% of Foresight um, citizens support Monotoli. Hey you, if you meet a beautiful, seductive woman who's looking for me, tell her hi. Anyway, I, I don't think a woman like that would be looking for me. Okay, nothing in the second room. Yeah, I was slightly disappointed with the uh, hot chocolate Oreos just being regular chocolate Oreos that just have, like, a uh, strip of vanilla in it. But, you know, it's interesting. Okay, so there isn't really too much more to the map than what is being shown. Hey, look at that. We're on top of the uh, little map logo. The cafe. What? Does Geldago Montoli come here often? Hello, time to get up. That would never happen. Well, actually, that's not true. Good shouldn't be drinking ex espresso. Shouldn't be hanging around here. What? Mr. Monotoli's here. Well, you got that wrong, kid. Used to be Monotoli's employer. Then I realized his schemes made my company go bankrupt. My house and land were taken away. Now I'm homeless. Monotoli didn't used to be so powerful. I want to find his secrets, so I'm spending my time here, watching to see if he ever drops it. 
surprised you talked to an ordinary guy like me. I have no information or items to help you out. Uh, don't you think it's natural for a guy like me to be here? I enjoy the atmosphere. Oh, by the way, let me quiz you. There, there are five apples. If you eat one, how many are left? Five minus one is four. So that's four left. Uh, it's not funny? Okay, here's another one. Master Pokey's made Electra is made to order. Oh, puns aren't funny either? I was in the middle of a caffeine buzz, and I had to get to the bathroom fast, and when I got there, I actually knocked on the wall instead of the restroom door. Next thing I knew, someone asked, who is it, and it really surprised me. Maybe I just imagined it. Seems like that this jukebox is just for decoration. Ah, I see. I don't know about you, but I found it kind of interesting that the cafe isn't marked. There's a lot of junk on this bulletin board at the junk shop. Busted up. Located at the back alley of the department store. I see. Okay. It's the hospital. Look. Mad Taxi. Shield Beta. Okay. Ugh. I was jump scared by a sign. Oh. It says high in the middle with the two eyes making Ohio. Okay, it's vulnerable to uh, hypnosis and that's it. Breeze? Gamma? I believe that's Gamma. No one knows anything. Uh, Monotoli's toadies stole everything from me, including my house and land. Weep weep. They are evil incarnate. Lawyers, policemen, everyone that follows Monotoli, they're all his toadies. No uh, matter how you fight him, you can't win. Yeah, okay. I'm just leaving the crime to my cappuccino. Nosy. Oh, hello. I'm very punctual about time and careful with money. I don't look like it, though. Hell. Come on. You got the goods, G. What are you looking for? Broken gadget, broken iron, defense spray, and rust promoter. I want the broken gadget. Who's going to carry this? Well, clearly we're going to give it to the guy who fixes stuff, but... Need to make room...
put this to you. There we go. Hey, what are you doing? Behind this wall, things seem very strange. I feel like it isn't my place. Maybe it's yours. Boy stuck to the wall, maybe a peeping Tom. And something close to that. Oh, I just realized how low their uh their health is. <gasps> Offense, defense, vulnerable to paralysis. Okay, good. I was I was actually kind of worried there for a second. No. How dare more cars come up out of nowhere? Uh, goods. Okay, we still have the large pizza. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so it isn't too far out of our, uh, out of our difficulty window. Okay, the department store, and then we have Monitoli Skyscraper. You boys are sneaking around looking for Mr. Monitoli, aren't you? If I catch you boys doing anything, I'll arrest you. No questions asked. Be prepared. Got it, Alan? Ah, I've already checked out your name. Hmm. The Dinosaur Museum. Can... There we go. The Dinosaur Museum doesn't have any real dinosaurs. They're all replicas. I'm sure everyone knows that, but you still want to see the dinosaurs? You gotta pay $5 a piece for the entrance fee. Please enter. You'll find an academic researcher inside. Many animals go extinct before human beings discover them. I want to see a live dinosaur sometime in my life. Huge. Not you, I'm talking to the dinosaur bones. Okay, more pictures, come on. A great photograph. Museum should sell dinosaur t-shirts. Dinosaur bones believed to be from South Scaraba. Uh, if you don't know why I pronounce it that way, don't worry about it. Uh, don't ask any details. Our research is continuing. I'm so happy there are visitors today. These days, few people come here. I'm Mr. Spoon, the academic researcher. What if there are any famous stars here today? <coughs> Dinosaurs. Huge, aren't they? Well, that's all I've gotten out of my research. Want to hear more? To the, the tell you the truth, I heard the dinosaurs were from near the lower side of uh, Scaraba. There are lots of them. There are unconfirmed reports that the dinosaurs ate some of the natives there. If you go, please try to find the dinosaurs and bring back photographs. Please come back again to study. Because I don't like being alone. That was enlightening. those guys digging for buried gold? If they found the gold, it would be worth a huge amount of money. 
they'd be able to pay off a million dollar debt very easily. If I were them, I'd go to Japan to live it up. In the old days, Mr. Monotoli was just a regular, unattractive real estate agent. Now he has the power to control the police force. I don't think the city of Foresight is better than, than it was before. But in this town is very plain, nondescript flavor to it. To tell you the truth, I'm the owner of this baker. Okay, so it's just the basic bakery stuff. There's a staircase up here. Oh, oh, Mr. T's living up here. I was thinking there was a... I was thinking, there's a tight wad born every minute. Okay. Don't know why there's a second floor with just Mr. T in it, but hey. Sometimes life is like that. Just a series of rooms with random Mr. T's in them. Uh... It doesn't look like there really is too much else. There's just the department store, and then there's the, uh... Then there's the Monotoli building. I would guess... Oh my gosh. I, I put my phone on the charger so it would actually... The top of the theater... Wait a second. What? A hint guy? What's the hint guy doing all the way out here? He can give you a great hint for $75. The top of the theater, the Runaway Five, have booked a series of gigs. This is just a rumor, but I heard that they've been snowed again. And they're some kind of trouble, so if I were you, I'd go and talk with them. Okay. That was exactly what I was thinking. I was actually looking for the, uh... I was looking for their car, actually. Wanna buy a ticket? Thanks a lot. Please hurry. The show will be starting any minute. So you're, you're a Runaway 5 fan, huh? What? Excuse me? No, no, no. This band owes me a million bucks. If they break their contract, they're in deep doo-doo with the police. Police will probably say, hey, you guys, or something like that. Unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf, I'd... You'll have to find buried gold, or you'd never be able to pay off such a huge sum of money. Ho ho ho. More ho ho ho's. I love how badly they're setting this up. It's so funny. When Alan arrives, the Runaway 5 told me to let him in. So, please come in. We owe you guys so much. Sorry. We're so helpless. Really helpless and helpless. Yuck, yuck. So we've been cheated by this theater owner. Again. We're stuck in here with a phony contract. Oh yeah. We know how to sing, but we don't know how to handle money or women. Do wop do wop. <laughs> To meet Gildegard Monotoli, you'll need our help. I don't exactly know why, just a hunch. We've got a bombshell for you tonight, kids. Ah, kaboom, Runaway 5. Take a bite of another cookie while we're waiting for this to be over.
Okay, first thing first, uh... We're gonna check up on the dig site, guys, after we, uh... Take another rest at the hotel. I was actually hoping that uh, Jeff would fix the uh, broken gadget, but I guess not. Hundred and seventy-nine. There we go. S Cargo Express. Uh, pick up. So we're going to be giving S Cargo Express two items and then grabbing two items from what they have. At least I believe... Oh gosh. Didn't realize that there are enemies over here. An extra cranky lady. Extra crankily scowled. Annoying reveler. So some drunk dude comes up to us and just starts, like, whacking us. It's like, okay, dude, you gotta sit down. I'm gonna put you on this park bench. There we go. Take up the three things. Uh, first thing is I'm gonna give you the uh, Sun Guts pill. Then I'm gonna give you the Magnum Air Gun. Uh, and then I'm gonna give you the contact lenses for now. Okay. Yes. Frees up some room in our inventory at least.
You know, I'm actually kind of happy that uh, certain enemies attack um, Ness just because. He has the higher health pool, so it makes sense. Oh, hey. Gonna stay the night. Ooh, there we go. Broken gadget. No? Huh. Been watching them dig for a while. Wonder what they'll find. They have a live broadcast from the dig. We could check out the dig while relaxing on the floor. I think you should dig somewhere else. Though you may not believe it, I'm a healer. Come back when necessary. A lot of work to do, but I can't seem to move. I'm very curious about the dig. Can't help it. I walk in the desert must make you hungry and thirsty. What do you want? Oh, you sell wet towels over here. Okay. Uh... I didn't have a problem digging until I found this maze. A lot of monsters appeared, so couldn't proceed. There's five big moles. If I defeat the monsters, I can continue on. I think I have a bleeding ulcer from worrying too much. I'm helpless to really do anything. <sighs> Dang it. What do you want? I want a wet towel. Okay. Find just me. And then I guess a skip sandwich. No, I'm good. Okay, first off. What, towel on you? Okay, you did take some damage, but I'm going to wait until we're uh, safely inside the cave. Thirsty coil. Ow. I find it kind of interesting that, unlike Pokemon, where you take damage of, like, uh, status effects after your attack, uh, you take it before. What? Random chick. Uh, Psy Healing Beta. Don't eat it, please. Certain chicks make you happy.
Okay. This coil snake needs to stop dodging my mo um my attacks. Ducks. <laughs> Mad duck in its cohorts. Uh. Then I'm gonna have you use. Beta fire on the front row, and then I have you also shoot the nooseman. Oh no, the the mad duck adorably tried to peck my eyes out. Okay. I'm one of the masters of this hole. There are five masters in all. We are all moles, of course. I believe I'm the third strongest amongst us. Take your best shot. Number three. Where is it called again? The Guardian. Okay. We're gonna use a uh, Gamma Freeze on the Guardian to, to see what's up with it. Whole body solidified. Vulnerable to Flash. Oh. Fine, check the package. IQ capsule. So I'm just like considering my options right now. There we go. Uh, we're nowhere close to the next level, but I just wanted to check to see what level we are at. 34, 31, 31. Okay, that kind of makes sense. So my thought right now is that, again, I'm not like looking up like what level we're supposed to be at, but I'm going to guess just a rough estimate that we should be somewhere near like level 25 normally, maybe? If, uh, if regular JRPG rules apply where it's like, oh, okay. Right. Uh, um, every single time you encounter a hard boss, you're supposed to go up five levels. You know, like that sort of thing. Also, just realized why they put a healer here. As if we're out of uh, psychic energy, but we're uh, but we really need to get rid of a status element.
Yeah, us being in like the mid thir um us being in our like low 30s is completely fine. Like if you like watch me playing through like Pokemon Violet, I've been going through the bosses quote unquote in order, like relatively. And in doing so, basically we keep running into fights where we just one-shot bosses because since we're going through it normally with um like getting all the levels for it we're like 10 levels above what we're supposed to be so we're just one-shotting everything and it's kind of funny but again like Rule number one about, um, yeah, rule number one about, um, about RPGs, especially turn-based RPGs. If you get to max level, there's no reason why you can't win. Like, the only time I could ever see someone, like, The only reason why you would probably lose, even if you're max level, is if you actually did something like, uh, if you were doing something the game didn't anticipate, <laughs> both for good or bad. There we go. So, I've been streaming for about, like, an hour at this point. I thought I was only going to be around for about, like, 45. Uh. Big bottle rocket. Okay. But it is getting to that time where I have to, like, head off to work. Uh, I am going to be streaming a little bit later on to the day. When I get back from work. And I'm trying to decide if I'm going to play more Earthbound, or if I'm going to be, uh... ...playing something else when we get back. I think that's the worst part. Takes 15 damage from poison, attacks, misses. Okay. Nope, we still need a little bit more damage to be able to, to one-turn this guy. Okay, no. How close am I to my next level? Five digits, five digits, four digits. Okay. I'm really the third strongest master. I'll destroy you now. Number third guardian. Uh. <laughs> I 
Oh, gosh. So, the, the Guardian crit. I respond by critting him, too. So, now Owen's not dead. Very, very cool. Point of defense. Uh... Must you equip this other increase your defense and luck. Okay. Is it better than the Saturn coin? No. It's actually worse than the Saturn coin. Interesting. Okay, we'll just sell that later. Calorie stick inside. Uh... Okay. Gigantic ant and its cohort. Always go after Anno. Like, what's the point? We got a horn of life and we got a cup of life noodles, but I also don't know. Yeah, I also don't know how, uh, how frequently I'm going to get more of those. Healing beta on Odin. Cup of life noodles. Anna. Better be the coolest present ever. Oh my gosh, it's a teddy bear. Take my son along. It looks like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze. You understand that you don't need any money for this, right? Yeah, but I don't have any space because I'm about to grab these two items. A croissant inside. Picnic lunch. Okay, I'm completely lost. I might actually take this mouse up on the offer to, uh, to go outside, but I actually have to... I'm going 
going to just uh, create a suspension point just in case. But um, I'll be back later tonight to, uh, to play either more of this or something else. Either way, I'll be back later. I'll see all y'all next time. Goodbye.